Welcome to Specific Love. I love French cleats. And if you don't know already, I've put up over 100 project ideas that you can install and put up on your wall to hold all of your tools. So, if you haven't checked those out, I'll put a link to those in the description. Now, I recently had somebody ask, what if you have French cleats, but you live in an area with earthquakes? Is there a chance that they will just fall off the wall and just rain tools all over you? Well, got me thinking. French cleats are naturally, as they come together, they wedge each self together. Now, if you've constructed them correctly, they should, in minor earthquakes, should be pretty secure up on your wall. Now, the tools themselves, if you haven't secured them real well to your actual holder, there's a chance for those to fall off. But, if you're in a major earthquake, well, I guess, yeah, they could come off the wall. So, it got me thinking of, what if you could lock them in place? Yeah, I know French cleats or should be able to move them anywhere you want, anytime you want, but could you lock them? Could it be functional in still a way that you could unlock it and still move them around? So, let me show you how. Now, I'm gonna first start off with the simplest idea to lock your cleat. That would be just to add a screw. I would suggest pre-drilling a hole and then doing a countersink so it'll sit at least flush and adding your screw. Now, I'd suggest doing it so that it runs into the cleat that is behind it, kind of like so, and that'll secure it into the actual wood that's back here. Now, if you do it any, about anywhere else, you might miss it or you might go directly into the wall or the sheetrock, whatever is on your wall, which might not give it very much strength. Now, there is some downsides. Of course, as you're drilling it in, there's a good chance you're gonna weaken the cleat. It's of course gonna look ugly if you ever move it. And well, it can just be a pain if you don't have your drill handy. Now here's another option. Once you've built your holder, you need to put it up on your cleat that's on your wall. Make a little mark so you know exactly where the bottom of the cleat is that is on the wall and transfer that to somewhere on your face here. In my case here, I did it right about center and I've drilled a hole to be the exact size of a wooden dowel that I have. And I put the dowel in and I trimmed it off so that it'll be just long enough I can get my fingers on it and pull it out and push it in whenever I need to. Great thing about this is it's easily removable and you don't necessarily even have to pull it all the way out to get it to function correctly. And it does, for the most part, locks it in. Now there are a couple downsides. Of course, it could deform the bottom of this cleat here if you bang it around a lot and you may occasionally have to replace the dowel, but that's not that big of a deal. Also, the other main problem is exactly where it's gonna fit on your face because your tool might be in the way. Just have to deal with that, but overall, it's a good idea. Now this next method I actually picked up from Jim over at the Lasting Build channel. He does a ton of French cleat stuff too, so you might want to check him out. Anyway, he uses a wedge method. We're actually going to take two wedges and we're going to secure it in place. Let me show you how. Now working with the same piece we did just a moment ago and the same mark we did so we know exactly where the bottom of this cleat is, I've taken two wedges and I have attached the bottom one to the actual holder and the top one is still loose. But as you see, they come together, it will intersect where that line is or the bottom of this cleat and thus wedging it into place. Let me just show you. Put the holder on, you wanna take your second wedge and you want to just push it into place. Then you can always take something and tap it and that is nice and secure. To get it out, you might be able to reach your finger back in there or take something like a screwdriver and just tap it gently can easily take your cleat off the wall. Alright, next up, you just take your regular cleat and I'm actually going to be adding a wedge to the top here. I'm using just a basic hinge and this is kind of a small and I'm using just a piece of a 2x4. You want it to be just about the same thickness as here so it gets a full nice seat back here. Let me show you how it works. Now once you put your holder in place, you just carefully push your wedge right up and it wedges itself between your holder and the cleat above it. Now in this case, you need to make sure all of your cleats are the same distance so you can move this around easily. Now for some reason, this is a little bit loose. In my case, it's nice and tight, but if it was real loose, you could always add a couple magnets, one on each side here, make sure they're opposite polarity so they attract each other. But that way, it would not only stay up, it would magnetically hold itself together. And that way, once everything's in position, you don't have to worry about anything coming loose. Now, if you happen to have a French cleat that's a little bit on the thick side, for example, a two by four, maybe a two by six or eight, here's a great way to do a side wedge. 
Now as you can see here, I have a little wedge. This side's flat, this side is angled, maybe 10, 15 degrees, it doesn't matter, it's however you wish. If you notice that when I have it completely pushed to the front, it's flush to the back, and completely to the back, it's flush with the front. And that just makes it easier and doesn't get in the way. I have a screw in the middle, which is a slot, and make sure that slot is as straight as possible, especially to the top here. And then at the bottom, I have just a little nail so that as it's going in, it wedges itself in place. Now, let me show you it in action. Now, when I'm putting this cleat on, you should be able to see that I have designed that the bottom of this cleat will be even with the top of this wedge. So as it goes into place, rides along that screw, puts pressure against the cleat and the nail, and locks it in place pretty well. Now if you prefer more of a twisting motion when you're locking your cleats, you can do one with a circle in the back. This right here was just a wheel that I cut out in a previous project, so I'm guessing about three inches, give or take. And the line here is the actual bottom of the cleat that this attaches to. And this line is where the center of my hole needs to be so that it would fit right in there nicely. And then this can wedge itself in place. Let me show you it in action. Now to add on your holder or take it off, you need to have the wheel with the flat spot facing up so it can fit nicely in place. And then you just give it a twist, either that way, or if you wanna make it disappear, you can always turn it to where it's almost flush. And there you go, it's nice and secure. Now you can put this more to the center of your cleat. I just have this on the end so it's easy to see. If you have it in the center, it's more likely to stay in place and less likely to move around. And if you have your wedge a little more to the center, it could be a little hard to see. So if you take a little black mark and you can put one on your backboard and one on the little peg, you can easily find your top. Now, if you happen to have a cleat that sits really close to the bottom, or it might just even be flush with the cleat that is currently on the wall, here's a quick and easy way to lock it in place. Now we're just gonna take an L bracket. We want it to be flush to the face and about flush to the bottom of this wall cleat. Then we're gonna tap a hole and screw it in place. And there you go, nice and secure. And the great thing is you do not have to unscrew it all the way to get it loose to take off. Now there's a number of ways that you could potentially lock your French cleats to your wall. If you think of anything else, please let us those in the comments below so we can help everybody else out. Otherwise, get out in the shop and have fun building. Potentially, oh, that gummit. And that way they can have fun in their shop as well. I don't know. Ah. I hope you can. Oh, dang gum! It's the French cleats to hi, the hang, the high, high, high up.